Turkey is on the verge of a historic leap in naval aviation as it prepares to deploy the Bayraktar TB-3 Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, UCAV, from its amphibious assault ship, TCG Anadolu, starting in September 2025. This operational milestone represents the first time a fixed-wing, strike-capable UCAV will routinely operate from a large deck vessel in any navy marking a significant evolution in maritime combat capabilities. The announcement, confirmed by Rear Admiral Recep Erdink Yetkin during Technofest Mayvai Vaden alongside Baykar Chairman Selçuk Berakter, underscores Turkey's rapid transition from experimental trials to full operational deployment of carrier-based drones. The TB-3's integration into Anadolu's air wing is expected to set a new standard for naval aviation in the unmanned era. The Bayraktar TB-3 has been specifically designed for shipboard operations. Unlike its combat-proven predecessor, the TB-2, the TB-3 features folding wings that allow it to fit into the limited hangar space of carriers and amphibious assault ships. With a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 1,450 kg, a payload capacity of 280 kg, and endurance exceeding 24 hours, the TB-3 can conduct extended maritime missions while carrying precision-guided munitions such as Roquetsons MAML and MAMT. These capabilities allow the drone to perform intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike missions far from Turkey's coastline, effectively extending the reach of the Turkish Navy's operational envelope. Integrated satellite communications and AI-supported avionics further enhance the TB-3's autonomy, allowing it to operate in complex maritime environments with minimal human intervention. TCG Anadolu itself is a remarkable platform. As the largest warship ever built for Turkey, it combines amphibious assault capabilities with an aviation wing optimized for unmanned aircraft. Originally modeled on the Spanish Juan Carlos I-Class and intended to support F-35B operations, Anadolu was reconfigured into a dedicated drone carrier following Turkey's exit from the Joint Strike Fighter program. The ship displaces 27,000 tons, stretches 232 meters in length, and is capable of deploying helicopters, UCAVs, amphibious landing craft, and armored vehicles. This combination of air and sea power enables Turkey to project military influence both ashore and at sea, creating a versatile and potent force package. The Bayraktar TB-3 has already demonstrated its capabilities during rigorous at-sea trials. In November 2024, the UCAV became the first unmanned aerial vehicle to take off and land on a short deck vessel. During a second flight test off the coast of Kanakale, the drone successfully completed two unassisted takeoffs and landings while flying at an altitude of 20,000 feet. These trials confirmed its ability to operate under real maritime conditions, laying the groundwork for its imminent operational deployment. Subsequent trials in April 2025 included fully autonomous sorties from Anadolu, validating ski jump launches, unassisted recoveries, and the practicality of its folding wing design for hangar storage. Through these exercises, the TB-3 has built up flight hours and refined its vision-based landing logic, demonstrating repeatable, reliable operations that few other navies have achieved with similar platforms. Turkey's broader unmanned naval strategy extends beyond the TB-3. The country is actively integrating unmanned surface and subsurface systems into its fleet operations. The ULAQ family of armed unmanned surface vessels, USVs, has undergone live-fire tests with missiles such as Sirit and Elantis, and industrial production has ramped up through 2024 and 2025. This multi-domain approach allows Ankara to experiment with human-machine teaming in littoral zones, pairing TB-3 maritime ISR and precision strike capabilities with USV scouting, sea denial, and coastal fire missions. The effect is a doctrine in which unmanned systems are treated as integral elements of naval task groups rather than occasional experimental additions. On the global stage, 
different navies are pursuing varying approaches to carrier-based unmanned aviation. The United States, with unmatched carrier experience, is focusing on extending the range of manned strike fighters through the MQ-25 Stingray tanker, which is expected to begin carrier integration in 2026. While the MQ-25 is not a strike UCAV, its deployment will normalize unmanned deck procedures within the U.S. Navy, establishing operational routines and control infrastructure that will pave the way for future combat drones. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom is advancing along two tracks, pairing short takeoff and landing fixed-wing UAV trials with tactical rotary UAS integration on carriers. The Royal Navy's Project Vixen and Peregrine programs illustrate a measured approach, testing larger fixed-wing options while avoiding costly modifications to existing decks. China, in contrast, is preparing carrier infrastructure designed for a drone-heavy future. The PLA Navy's third carrier, Fujian, is undergoing sea trials with electromagnetic catapults, while the Type 076 amphibious assault ship Sichuan is intended to operate fixed-wing drones alongside helicopters. While the specifics of China's UAS mix remain unclear, the country's investment signal a long-term plan to incorporate unmanned systems as a core component of carrier air wings. Each of these trajectories contrasts with Turkey's operational first model, which emphasizes immediate deployment and routine use of armed UCAVs from a short-deck amphibious carrier without relying on catapults or arresting gear. The operational debut of the TB-3 aboard Anadolu will provide Ankara with a distinct first-mover advantage. By demonstrating routine, repeatable deck operations and integrating ship-borne drones into fleet missions, Turkey is compressing the gap between trial flights and active deployment. This approach allows the Turkish Navy to refine tactics, logistics, and command structures around unmanned aviation before other nations field comparable systems. The TB-3's deployment represents not just a technological achievement, but a strategic shift in how navies generate and sustain maritime air power in the 21st century. As Anadolu enters service as a fully operational drone carrier, it exemplifies a new paradigm in naval warfare. The combination of endurance, payload capacity, and high sortie rates offered by the TB-3 allows the Turkish Navy to project force across multiple domains with unprecedented flexibility and efficiency. By embedding drones as permanent elements of naval task groups, Turkey is redefining the operational calculus of carrier aviation and setting a benchmark for maritime unmanned combat. In doing so, Ankara is forcing other naval powers to reconsider how future conflicts at sea will be fought, particularly in contested littoral zones where human-machine teaming can provide a decisive edge. The significance of the TB-3's deployment extends beyond Turkey's immediate capabilities. It challenges traditional naval hierarchies that prioritize manned aircraft, emphasizing instead the operational and cost advantages of unmanned systems. With Anadolu optimized for UCAV operations and the TB-3 capable of long-range strike and ISR missions, the Turkish Navy is now positioned to demonstrate scalable, autonomous maritime operations in a real-world operational context. This achievement is likely to influence the development and deployment of similar systems worldwide, as other navies evaluate the potential of integrating armed drones into their carrier air wings. By September 2025, when the Beraktar TB-3 begins its operational missions, Turkey will join a select group of nations leading the integration of unmanned systems into frontline naval operations. The TB-3 success aboard Anadolu will not only highlight the capabilities of Turkish industry and naval innovation but also underscore a broader strategic vision in which unmanned platforms play a central role in projecting power, enhancing situational awareness, and executing precision strikes. As navies around the world continue to explore unmanned aviation, Turkey's approach offers a concrete blueprint for leveraging drones to achieve a significant operational advantage at sea. In summary,
The Bereactor TB3's integration with TCG Anadolu represents a pivotal moment in naval aviation history. Through successful trials and innovative design, Turkey has created a platform capable of delivering sustained, autonomous maritime strike and ISR capabilities. This deployment demonstrates a commitment to operationalizing unmanned systems, setting new standards for maritime air power, and positioning the Turkish Navy as a pioneer in 21st century naval warfare. The TB3, operating from Anadolu, will not only extend Turkey's reach and influence but also serve as a benchmark for the evolving role of drones in global naval strategy.